check your health, get fit, get moving, we have Dr. Brett Mackiff here from the Utah Department of Health with some exercises we can do at home. I don't like going to the gym, so no. let, help me out at home. And you shouldn't have to. There's yeah. a lot of things you can do. In fact, we're going to use our chairs Just today. a chair. So we're going to come okay. right down and a sit nice right sturdy on one. the very front of the chair. Okay, I'm going to turn this So a abs okay. are always a challenge because, number one, it's so hard sometimes, and it mm -hmm. takes a lot of effort. Okay. What we're going to do is lean back. You can put your hands onto your okay. legs. You can put them across your chest, whatever feels comfortable. Lean back until you just barely just touch barely the back touch. of your chair. Okay. And then come up, and then what we're going to do is have you go to the side just a little bit. Okay. Back, almost huh. touch. You're doing some oblique crunches. These are crunches, but you're not laying on. A lot no. of people have a tough time because your back hurts when you and do crunches getting, on the floor. And getting up off the floor sometimes is very difficult. So okay. this is a great way to huh. work across that core. That yeah, section. and you do feel it when you're pulling this side and when you're stretching that side. And to make it a little bit harder, you can really focus on And that on adds the weight up here, right? Exactly, extends that lever just huh. a little bit. And so it does not hurt your back. Nice way to do That's it. You fantastic. can also take one leg and bring it up if you need to. Keep it off the ground okay. and do that same rotation to make it a little bit more challenging. All right. Fantastic. Crunches you can do in a chair. Oblique crunches. It won't instantly slim your stomach, but it'll get there. Give it okay. Time. If you want more exercises, you can always go to our website, KUTV.com. Just click on that Check Your Health logo.